How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with a very important video for Dragon Ball Fighters because it does not matter what character you play, that character is going to be getting buffed really soon. The reason we know that is because recently a stream was held to show off some more information for Goku GT, but what really ended up sticking with people was the huge balance patch they announced. Not only did they mention a change to the way quick tag works, instead of holding forward now you hold down to quick tag, resulting in less accidental tag ins, which I'm sure a lot of us have experienced, they also showed off just a bit of what changes we can expect to each character. And like I said, all of these changes for these characters are buffs. To put it in perspective, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking this, please don't tell me they buffed Gotenks, I'm here to tell you that they buffed Gotenks, and Bardock, and Cell. Any character you think that you hate and think should be nerfed, they caught a buff. But as a side effect to that, any character you wanted to see get better also got a buff as well. This includes Android 17, Nappa, Frieza, etc. Now of course not all buffs are going to be huge things for every character. Some characters will probably really notice it and others probably not so much. It really comes down to how some of those changes can be used in game to effectively make that character's base game plan a little bit better. And that's kind of why I decided that for this video instead of going each change ad nauseum I would just link you guys to the overall thread by the way shout out to this twitter literally translated everything super super helpful from the community make sure to go over there and give it a like but instead of just going through them and listing them off, I would pick a few from the list that I think we should be looking out for when the patch eventually does drop as they sound like they could very well improve the character overall. So let's start off with one change that immediately jumped out to me, and that change is actually for Yamcha. You can see here after his 236X or his Wolfang Fist, you can now use follow-ups even if you whiff the attack. The follow-up that I'm really concerned about here is the back step. The big question here is, is using follow-ups on a whiffed Wolfang Fist going to be an effective tool for mix-ups? Are you going to be able to whiff it and back step and go in for more pressure? Or are you going to be able to whiff it and then go behind them, etc, etc. All of these things are questions that if you're a Yamcha player, you're probably going to want to mess around with it in training mode at least a little. Yamcha's other change is that 214X can now be used as a follow-up to Wolf Fang Fist to counter people in the air, effectively giving him another follow-up for this whole Wolf Fang Fist situation. So Yamcha players, definitely be on the lookout for all of this and come training mode, go mess around with it so I won't have to. The next character that I think people should really be on the lookout for is actually Vegeta Blue. This is a character that really isn't too big of a deal in a lot of people's minds uh, simply because, you know, he's not that great. There are other characters that can do what he does, uh, but a bit better. Now though with these patch notes, I'm starting to think that Arxis might want Vegeta Blue to actually be something deadly. 236X, his kick, extremely buffed, not many details though. But anytime I see the sentence, keep pressuring your opponent with speedy attacks, I'm starting to think that they make it just super fast. As well as making 214X easier to grab the opponent with. Depending on what this means, this could be a huge deal for Vegeta Blue. Will this mean that it can grab on the ground? If so, and it's still fast, that might be enough to make Vegeta Blue a very, very good character. I'm not too sure about this one. Like I said, I don't play a lot of Vegeta Blue, but just seeing these two changes makes me think, man, depending on how those are implemented, that could be scary. Following Vegeta Blue though, I do want to talk a little bit about Trunks because he seems to be getting quite a few interesting changes as well. 236X properties on hit has been changed, now easier to keep pressure if they block. It's also easier to keep pressuring even if they block 236M. And now you can follow up after your Cyclone jump with a variety of attacks, obviously, this is one of those that is worded so loosely that I could be making it out to be something better than it is, but variety is always good in anime fighting games because you want to keep that opponent guessing and you also want to keep them under pressure. And at the very core of these changes, it sounds like Trunks is getting a buff to both of those concepts. So Trunks players, be on the lookout for this. And now if you guys will be so kind, allow me to please talk about the buffs to Krillin. For starters, his special moves have been buffed and he can follow them up with 236X on on hit for a sliding knockdown, effectively this means that I will no longer have to spend a bar mid-screen to get that ever so sweet sliding. Uh, that for one, amazing. And his movement on the ground during 236X has also been changed, uh, could be a lot of things so we can't even really go into detail on that, but this is good. This is a good start. I don't know why they didn't give him an assist change, but Arxis, Fighters 2, please, assist change. You're, you're doing good things for Krillin, but he's not, he needs that assist changed. Man, I'm looking forward to the future though. And now really quickly, let's go ahead and do some rapid fire changes for characters that I don't think are going to get too much better, but these changes might effectively change up some stuff for him. Kid Buu, 236L doesn't leap forward anymore, making it easier to differentiate it from other versions. Depending on how fast he recovers, that could 
could effectively be a small mix-up tool if you like let's say call in an assist go for a kid boo ball but then oh, all of a sudden he lands and goes for a low right that maybe I don't know, it really does depend. Goku Black, if you hold forward when using 5S, a faster projectile is fired. That's good, J Goku Black's Key Blast is super bad. So having the option to at least make it faster is a welcome change in my book, and easier to combo jumping 214M in aerial combos uh, might make it a little easier to get people into corners in some situations, but I don't play Goku Black. I don't think this is taking care of his main problems, but these changes uh, might be something to look out for. And then finally hit, the H follow-up after stance is now easier to follow up on hit when it crosses up the opponent and when you do 236 hs it spends all of your meter at once and deals more damage depending on the amount of bars uh this is a pretty decent buff if you're already really good at hit sounds like you'll have more options after the follow-up if you cross them up and having an option to spend more bar even if it's not three to do a little bit more damage has been a pretty top tier tool in the past shout out to bardock well guys, that's going to do it for all the changes that really stuck out to me. If I missed any, feel free to let me know down below in the comments what change you're most excited for, or least excited for, if we could go ahead and talk about that as well. Also make sure to go down in the comments and check the thread if you want to see more details on every character. But yeah guys, while you're down there, if you like this video and you're excited for the future of Dragon Ball Fighters, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will be covering all of this in detail when it comes out. If anything's too busted, I'll definitely make a video about it, uh, and Goku GT when he comes out. Out. we'll be doing a week of ranked with him if you want some more videos right away there should be some up on your screen if any of them catch your eye feel free to check them out but once again thank you so much for watching this video i'm dr doya i'll see you in the next one